Have you ever wondered what it was like before we could capture a single moment, before photographs, before films, before memories could be frozen in time? Every single instant vanished the second it passed. For thousands of years, all humanity could do was remember, relying on paintings, stories, and the fragile nature of our own minds. Long before the cameras we know today, early scientists and artists discovered something that felt like magic. They called it the camera obscura. Imagine a completely dark room or a box with a tiny hole. Light would stream through that hole and project an image of the outside world onto the opposite wall, upside down but in full color. It was incredible, a live painting created by light itself. But there was one heartbreaking problem. The image couldn't stay. As soon as the light faded, the picture was gone forever. Then, in 1826, a French inventor named Joseph Nisef or Niepce decided to change that. He was obsessed with capturing these fleeting images permanently. He took a simple wooden box, our very first camera, and inside, he placed a pewter plate coated with a light-sensitive chemical called bitumen of Judea. He pointed this box out of his workshop, window in the French countryside, opened the shutter, and then he waited. This wasn't a quick snapshot. Hours passed. The sun slowly crawled across the sky, its light painstakingly burning a mark into the chemical-coated plate. Neeps had to wait for more than eight hours for the exposure to complete. When he finally developed the plate, what appeared was not perfect. It was blurry, faint, and ghostly, silent, but it was real. That image, a simple view from his window, became the very first photograph ever taken in history. It was the first moment that humanity managed to capture and hold on to forever. There were no faces, no smiles, just the quiet rooftops and sky of a long ago afternoon. Yet this single, grainy image changed everything. From that one moment, our world would never be forgotten again. That humble experiment sparked a revolution. Photography led to cinema, giving us moving pictures. Cinema led to video, and video brought us into the digital age we live in today. Every photo on your phone, every video you watch, every memory you save it, all traces its origin back to that one patient experiment in a French window. The first camera didn't just capture an image, it captured time itself. And once time was captured, history was never the same again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.